Hey everybody, it's me, DSJ120682. And I'm about to start a let's play that of this game I've been enjoying for a while now. And a game I am will that I will eventually review anyway. But this time I'm pose a challenge upon myself. But I tell you, as soon as the intro comes, yeah, you yeah, the part of my PS3. It's been acting sluggish lately, but it's hanging in there. And this game is made by Ubisoft. This game is rated team. We just don't eat meat by the VBA. All right. I'm in a party. And shut up nowhere. Two people kiss. Oh, Scott Pilgrim is in love with Ramona Flowers. But, we see him get his ass whooped. He must defeat her several evil ex boyfriends. Yeah, y'all saw this one coming. Guess what, everybody? Welcome to Let's Play Scott Pilgrim vs. The World The Game. And I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do the hard difficulty. And no, I'm not playing in Scott Cage maxed out in stats. However, I'm gonna start with Kimberly Pine. I already beat World. I already beat Stage One with the Stage Two on Average Joe difficulty. But I'm gonna start with the first stage on the hardest difficulty. In other words, the stat is piss poor right now. This game is a satisfying beat em up. And by mistake, you can play up to four people. Locally, though. Granted, this don't have no online play, but hey, that's what it brings back the charms of the old NES. Yeah, I love the chip tunes in this game. Matter of fact, in my opinion, the soundtrack for this game is fucking awesome. I guess y'all wonder why I chose Kimberly. Well, one, Cloud and you, Scott, J Man already used on um, Steels. So why not use why not use Kim? <laughs> damn, she just shrugged them off like they ain't fucking nothing. That's pretty damn funny. If you ain't guessed it yet, you know what beat you know what an old NES beat em up game this game remind you of? Well, it reminds you of um, River, River City Ransom. Or anything in the Kunio Kun series. That, whichever side you rep prefer. Well, we in America, we know what it is. River City Ransom. The number of sides of hearts. It's called heart points. But I'm like this. To me, it's hit points. Same definition. And below it, is your gut point. Is your gut points. 
and every time you level up, depending on how much damage you do to um to all your enemies total, you will learn the move. And also your HP regenerates back to low maximum. Since my stats suck right now, weapons is the best thing to do with but she attacks so slowly. And I played as the other three characters even though I ain't beat the game with the other three characters, except for Scott. They attack a lot faster than she do, even at the lowest stats, but you know what? I'll be alright. I may get a few game overs mainly because my stats are very weak right now. Oh shit, bus! This fat guy here. The only way you can defeat him is with a weapon or with your strong attack, which is the um triangle button. That square button is your quick attack. The one you will get more combos out of. And when you're holding a weapon, the the triangle button is the throw. Throw it. Well, the square button is to um, pretty much use the damn thing. A lot of the weapons will break after so many uses. Oh, okay, that's fucking cheap, dude. You pay for that. I'm like, this fucking make it to the shopping district. I'm good. That way, I could buy some food to level up, but I don't want to go exactly in the middle, in the, any of the stores in the shopping district at the moment. Because there's a, there's a store in the state I want to go to. Damn it, man. Get off me, please. Oh, you bastard. That's okay. Ugh. I'm glad this is one of them games that count zero as a final as your final life instead of one as your final life. Huh, money. Canadian currency, I guess. You cheap motherfucker. You ain't getting away with that. You know, it's not nice to hit a lady, you know. Wow, they hitting me good, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot this. I forgot to mention one thing. L1, you summon knives. Depending on the character you have, not knives will do something to, will do something totally different. And yes, that will use your guts points. R1 does a different attack too, which it is a special tech mode that uses your gut points as well, which I rarely use unless I absolutely have to. Maybe because sure, when I die, I need my gut points. Oh, that's damn it, man! Ow! I 
admit, early on this stage, they annoy me. Oh, I could. I even love to snow on the ground. You could pick it up and throw a snowball. Hey, yes, it really does do that. Oh, shit. This bastard again. See? Yeah, for some no reason. Nasty's Kim. I get an HP refill. Come on, just die, dude. Just die. Stop lying. Oh, well, there goes my bat. There's some weapons that don't get destroyed after use. Ah, damn it. Like I said, you'll see some game over screens. But that's alright. We're gonna get through this. This is no big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and warn you now, you don't see me go back to the shopping district of stage one a lot. Mainly to build up my stats the hard way, I guess. And no, I don't mean by paying Scott's fucking late fee, which is five over five hundred fucking bucks. But eventually later in the game I will rely on that though. Which I'll collect that hefty fee off screen eventually. But right now. Okay. Anytime you dog power you, keep pressing the button until you press and you get them off you. Then you collect a lot of them. Small ones change. But hey, you're better than nothing. Oh yeah, when I get to the second stage, I'm about to sh show what my stats are when that happens. Like I said, they're pissed for right now. Not much defense, barely any fucking speed. And even my own. Um, matter of fact, even my own maximum HP and maximum guts points and shit. It's best for you to play there and not play there. Or just die. Yeah, I hate when y'all try to. Oh! Oh, that's good. Got a new move, leveled up. But I hate that dash and throw shit. It does a little bit more damage, but I really hold on to my weapon. Now I like it when you gain the level when it says all oh, you know you're using a square button with your weapon because you attack a lot faster. But I don't get that quite yet. I'm not at that level yet, unfortunately. Oh, you cheap bastard. It is the crazy part. I know circles for blocking, but I have a tendency not to believe in the block button at all. So yeah, you're gonna see my ass kicked a lot for no apparent reason when it can be easily avoided by blocking. <laughs> 